How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Today we have a beautiful day as you can see. Of course, you know that we're, we're locked up here at home basically. Uh, uh, I hope everyone out there is doing well and being safe uh, with the virus, uh, the, with the coronavirus stuff going on. Uh, here in California they've got the old lockdown thing going. And uh, you know, I've been at home for, oh, almost a month. And uh, I went to town uh, one, twice. Uh, my wife's been to town a couple times. She, she works for the county and um, just a couple days a week uh, as a librarian. And uh, they de deem them essential personnel. So uh, some of them are able to actually work. Uh, they have a lot to do. Even even though the library is closed, so and they can work from home, so that's kind of helping out us uh, quite a bit. Uh, I hope uh, everybody is doing well. Uh, we are one of the very few places in the entire country. I don't know if I should say this uh, uh, that we've had zero cases in our entire county uh, so far of the virus, uh, and the county south of us has had. Uh, uh, just a few and they were all within one family uh, they had a family gathering or something and just about everybody at the gathering got the virus and that was all it was like seven or nine cases um, and one one of them died and uh, the county north of us also is a well, only a few three or four maybe it's, it's very few uh, it's it's mostly the high populated areas where, where it seems to be really bad uh, Anyway, we're, we're, you know, we, we don't have very many neighbors anyway, and so we just talk on the phone and things like that. We don't, aren't having personal contact. But I just hope uh, everybody else out there is uh, doing well and isn't sick and stuff. Uh, so, obviously, I've been sequestered to the shop, and as in Randy Richard in the shop. Boy, in the shop every day. <laughs> uh, so, I've been, obviously, the last few episodes, I've been really working on the cement mixer. And I got the coat hanger thing done. And uh, well, I really want to get the uh, parts. Uh, in this video here, we're going to show you all the parts uh, for the yoke. Uh, put them, I'll put them together, and then I'm, uh, and then we're going to get it mounted uh, on the uh, on a cement mixer. So uh, stay, stick with it, and enjoy the video. Uh, I hope everybody's sitting down and watching a lot of YouTube. Uh, Boy, the monetization has just gone in the dumps on everybody. I, I think on, no, no advertisers are advertising on YouTube. Uh, that, 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 that's really gone in the dumps. And that, it's making more people put out more videos because they, they want the views and stuff. Uh, but it's kind of interesting to see all the statistics on that. Uh, but I hope things uh, we get out of this, uh, this uh, lockdown stuff and they need to bring the economy back and and everything it's just uh it's just amazing but i like i said i hope well for everybody anyway let's uh let's get on with the video and we'll show you the parts and get some things put together on the yoke and uh, we'll do that and then uh we'll get the thing mounted uh and try to since it's such a nice day so uh stick with me and please subscribe thanks you guys so the cement mixture has weathered the winter well it was under a tarp and everything uh, so I've taken the bearings back off. Now you saw me put them on, or you saw them on there, but I had to take them off and paint them. So these things look awesome. They have felts in them. You can see the felt uh, rings in them for to help keep water and grit out. Uh, they look uh, absolutely awesome. Nothing like a little paint and a little bronze and makes things look beautiful. <laughs> so. We have a little bit of issue out here that I'm just going to deal with kind of on a temporary basis uh, to see how it's going to be, but we'll, we'll see. It may, may end up being a permanent basis. So I machine these flat on the bottom of the, of the bearings, right? Well, the surfaces where they sit aren't machined. They are, you know, just all welded, uh, you know, frame and steels really that's all it is uh so it's not really very flat and so these don't sit flat flat i'm going to use a piece of eighth inch uh 
rubberized cork uh, gasket material. I'm going to make a like a gasket to go on the base here. And we're going to put the bolt it down. And that'll give me some cushion to make up those irregularities. And we'll, when we after we get it bolted down, we're going to see. Maybe we'll just leave that in there. That that might be the ticket. Uh, it will be very very difficult to shim. Uh, so I just might end up leaving that in there as, as a gasket material. So let's uh, let's uh, get the yoke uh, uh, strapped up and get it picked up with the tractor and we'll swing it over here. Now I also took off the big drive pulley. Uh, that has to fit through an uh, opening in the, in the back here so we can uh, slip it in. Uh, obviously it won't fit through the hole with the pulley on there. So uh, let's get it rigged up.
right, we we got her on. There we go. It's on the mixer. Uh, we still have to shim the bearing caps and get things bolted down, but it's on the mixer. That's the big thing. Uh, I'm very happy about this. This is a this is what's called progress. Uh, things heavy, especially with this with this gear on here and the other piece on there you know the thing really added some weight to it and uh, good thing for the tractor all right these are all fitted onto the frame and obviously it turns easy now you'll see some oil what i did is i soaked the felts with oil now here's here's the cap and i this is a felt in the groove there and i soaked those with a just engine oil you know 10 w40 or something probably i don't know something whatever i have in my can so uh, i just soaked those we're going to put those shims in get those kind of lined up Stack on each side. Uh, we have about 90 thousandths. Now, it's kind of thick, uh, but the felt needs to kind of crush and wear in a little bit, and then it'll seat down on the bearing. So that's okay. We'll let it sit here. We'll be sitting out here for a while. And uh, then we'll probably end up having to remove some shims a little later. And then we're going to put the cap on. All right, those are tight and we have really good free easy movement this is the grease I'm going to use this is a marine grease uh, this is a this is a, the newer tube of it uh, you know protects boat trailers and it's higher water resistance so it, this is really good grease for me for this uh, these bearings out here in the weather so I got this at O'Reilly's master pro grease marine grease drum drive in now we'll work on all the drive stuff next video probably uh, this is, this spins really nice and free all right now there we go bearings installed and all greased and just that thing is so smooth unbelievable <laughs> That'll be uh, easy, easy to use. Uh, so we have uh, the drive end. That'll be a separate video. And we got some stuff on this end here we can put on that I've got finished up for uh, turning the drum. Uh, the drum's still, still a little bit out. So <laughs> thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.